Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. This is so stupid. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. If you don't let How did you find out? Screen. Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Answer, you wuss. Ah. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster?
Boom, this is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. This shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. <sighs> Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. 
So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Come on over here, please. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Not at all. Sensitive is good, unless you're a pushover. You have hip taste and a quick mind. Thanks for noticing, Max. The right girl will too. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch! I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. 
Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey, leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren! Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! 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 <laughs> <laughs> 